Hello everyone, this is John from Compass Rose Bushcraft. Today I'd like to review the uh, Groman Number no. 4 Survival Knife. Groman is the same company that makes the uh, Canadian belt knife uh, that I reviewed some weeks ago. Uh, this knife is uh, one I bought a number of years ago when I first became interested in survival knives um, and uh, wanted to have one of my own. I bought this because of the success I've had in using the Canadian belt knife by Groman. The knife comes in three sheath designs. The first one that's standard is this one with the uh, retention tab and the handle free of the uh, sheath. And the one thing you have to be careful of with this is that it's very easy to slice into the retention strap if you're not careful. It also comes in a deep pocket sheath, not unlike the Canadian belt knife, and is available as well in the military style uh, fold over sheath with the retention flap. The knife is um, made of this particular one, is made of high carbon stainless, but it's also available in high carbon steel. Uh, it's priced at $136.75 Canadian at this point. It's available in a saber grind, which is what this one is, or in a full flat grind. The blade is five and a half inches long and an inch and three eighths at the widest. It's made of a three sixteenth stock. And the knife is ten and five sixteenths in uh, overall length with a handle of about four and thirteen um, uh, sixteenths in length. The handle is narrow where it meets the blade, which allows you to choke up and get good control of it. And there's a little bit of jimping here and a choil there so you can get your hand really close to the blade. And for chopping and for larger tasks, the handle widens at the back and the handle is made of uh, rosewood. And with the lanyard on it, you can get a really good grip for chopping. And I was doing some chopping this morning and uh, have found that the edge has held really well and I've done chopping in the past with it and I've never had a problem with the edge. Although it did need a little bit of sharpening when it came out of the box. Um, I'm going to try do a little batoning with you so you can see the knife in action in one of the things that we expect of a survival knife. A little beaver chewed birch here to, to try that with. And as you can see, the knife does a fairly good job even going through that knot there and uh, doing a, a little bit of feather sticking. Just lay that blade flat along there and with slight angle you can make very thin or even much thicker curls. Does a great job actually. I'm very, very pleased with that. As you can see, It has the very distinctive shape to it, not unlike the Canadian um, belt knife. And uh, I found that that rounded belly makes it great for, for both uh, chopping and for slicing and all of those kinds of camp tasks that one would want to make. Um, overall, I've been very pleased with this knife. I will say that there is a little bit of problem with fit and finish. Um, when I was looking at them, there were a, a few of them available that had uh, just a couple of burrs along the spine there. We had to watch for. Uh, and when I got this one home, I noticed that there's a little bit of an unevenness in the grind on the false edge at the back there. I don't know that you'd be able to see that on the on the video, but. Um, Aside from that, as those fairly minor flaws, uh, it has been a good and reliable knife. I've enjoyed using it on those occasions when I have, and think it's a good option if you're looking for a Canadian-made survival knife. Uh, this is John from Compass Rose Bushcraft. Please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you again very soon. Thank you.